Hey, Grey Couch family. Uh, we're here with another beautiful couple. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to let them introduce themselves in just a minute. Uh, but I will let you know it's the Simons and you guys are in for a treat. All right. Uh, take so, it away. Uh, my name is Jovian Simon. I am a married two kids, a toddler, and a seven-month-old. Oh, wow. I um, registered. Oh, no. <laughs> Two boys. <laughs> I am a registered nurse. All right, and I am Devon Simon. Um, I was born in Georgetown, Guyana. That's in South America. Um, you know, married to this wonderful woman for what will be five years in next, next month. That's right, in April. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. And just so our viewers knew, uh, married for five years next month, mm -hmm. but how yeah. long have you guys known each other? And uh, let's add that to the five years. We knew each other for, well, six years of dating. Okay. Yeah. Which was long distance. <laughs> and then and then we got married, so now we'll be married for five years. Yeah. So she, she originally was in um, Florida okay. um, while I was here in New Jersey, and she came to visit. Um, we met and I, I tell people all the time i wish i could say oh it was love at first sight <laughs> you know it, it wasn't it wasn't one of those things where i was like wow i i want this you know um <laughs> and, and she'll tell you that and she will tell you that that it wasn't you know uh, an instant connection instant um attraction um but after you know us talking every day and and seeing each other often you know, there, there was this, 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 this thing that just sparked that grew, um, and then next thing you know, I'm I'm on a um, cruise ship somewhere in the Bahamas, asking this, <laughs> asking this woman to marry me. But but let, let, let me let me say this. I think I think um, the hardest part of that was sitting down and talking to her parents. Right. So what happened is that um, it was my birthday and she wanted to take me on a cruise. So we, we had some friends with us and, you know, she, she has this best friend who has this personality that is just like, that's an extrovert, you know, Rolanda. And um, and so I, I, you know, I got with Rolanda. I'm like, hey, this is what I want to do and whatever. whatever. She, the water <laughs> works and she's crying. She's like, I'm so happy. So I, I, I had everything planned out. I'm like, all right, I'm going to let her think she's here to celebrate me, but I'm definitely going to make do this. Oh. So Stan, I'm a romantic. I'm just going to let you know. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let see. you know. <laughs> so I, 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 I um, while we were planning the captain's ball and stuff like that, she's sharing ideas that she have of dresses and stuff like that. And there's this one dress that she picked out, you know, and she's like, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get something else. And I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I want her in that dress. <laughs> so I went and I got the dress. I told Rolanda, hey, listen, let's ensure her hair and her nails is, you know. And then we got on the cruise. I, I made arrangements with the crew and let them know what was happening. And I'm telling you that I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down at the table waiting for, you know, my time. And man, I felt like I couldn't breathe. <laughs> But imagine being in dinner with everybody. Feel good. I don't feel good. So I'm like, let's go upstairs and go back to the room. You don't feel good. Feel good. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Let's go upstairs. Like, you, you, I want you throwing up on a table. Let's go. But That's, I didn't know. I spent I spent years in in South America where it, it, it's hot, and I, I've never felt like that before. I felt like the the sun was right above my head. I I could. I'm like, whoa, Lord of mercy, I don't know if I'm going to make it. <laughs> and then, you know, it finally happened. And, you know, I was like, all right, this is it. And and I'm, I promise you, man, I cried more than she did during the oh. entire thing. <laughs> I cried and I didn't, I didn't even know she understood what I was saying, you know, because sometimes I, I, I watch the video <laughs> of, of it happening and I'm like, wait, did she hear when I said, will you marry me? Like, should I ask again? <laughs> You know, and and ever since then, um, you know, I I I I've I've enjoyed, you know, our 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 marriage, 
um, our wedding was, I, I tell her all the time, our, my, our wedding was like one of the best days of my life. I had so much fun. I wish I could do that game, that, that day <laughs> every year, every year. <laughs> no more semi heat strokes. <laughs> no, 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 no. But I, re I really did felt like I couldn't even eat the food in front of me. I don't know, you know? <laughs> And then I remember like after everybody was just looking at him. I'm like, why are everybody looking at him? Like he's okay. Like, <laughs> just like so, so some of the things that I planned like during that that um that that cruise on, on the dinner, I was like you know, because well, what I did, I wanted to give her a rose for every year that we we've known each other and that we were dating. So every few minutes they would bring a rose, bring a rose, and she's like What's going on? And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they're giving roses out to all the ladies or whatever. But you know, she was the only one getting a rose. And then everybody at the table knew what was happening. Like, oh, maybe you're just special or whatever, whatever, whatever. And then, you know, it happened. And I'm like, all right, man, come on. I need you guys to make this happen real quick so that that I don't feel this way. You know, but I would have been. It would have been so tragic if I had passed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but 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 that's 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 us um now we're here two kids in two beautiful boys um the loves of my life you know uh, love you. yeah <laughs> all right all right i i told you guys you guys were for a treat okay all right so uh the areas you guys talked about wanting to mm -hmm. expound on the couch were communication money and finances sex parenting pretty much everything yeah 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 question. one question the four c's the four c's the four, the four c's. c's exactly <laughs> all right so let's start with communication right mm -hmm. and the question is what does authentic communication mean to either one of you and um how do you ask from it ask for it from the other party mm -hmm. and how do you ensure you get it Paul. um when it comes to communication i feel like in our relationship that's more my <laughs> expertise. He's not going to communicate that well. So for me, I mean, I would just, I just want someone to be open, honest, express their feelings, and um, no hope that you always, one thing was you're going to be respectful to each other. Mm -hmm. Him, he's just going to be quiet, he's going to shut down. He's going to be like, and I'm just like, it's okay to be quiet, but in at least a day or two, we don't have to come back to this topic. This conversation. I give you, I give you your moment because everybody sometimes needs a moment. That's fine, but you can't just ignore it. You won't come right back to it. So mm -hmm. that's how I get what I need out of him. Like, okay, <laughs> and then eventually he'll open his mouth like, okay, and that's how we, <laughs> that's what we normally do. I have to pull it. Um, so. Yeah, you know, um. I, I want I'm 100% agree with her like she is the I want to talk I and you know um and I tell people all the time that I, f I feel like we don't argue a lot or get in those intense battles that you know mm. a couple would, would would engage in because of her you know she wants to talk it through for me even, and even at work like if if I you know feel a certain way about a situation um with my superior or whatever I'll, I'll shut down um, and then I think some, it, it can be a good thing because it gives you time to gather your thoughts and your words, because with her, I don't ever want to say something I can't take back because I feel like people remember that one thing or those hurtful things that you say. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to do, I, I, I wouldn't want to do that to her. And when you're angry or upset, you say things that, you know, you, you, and it's not like right now, um, you know, Apple has a, a update where you can unsend a text message. You can't do that here. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you can't, I can't, I can't hit that unsend button. Right. So like when I do speak mm. after is art, can you handle my honesty with mm. this situation now? Mm. And sometimes that's why I don't want to go into a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, like, listen, I hear you. All right, we, we can we can eventually move on because if I'm honest with you um, and my honest truth, you know, it, it might not be what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So I would rather just, you know, let, let's, let's, okay, I hear you, you know, we, we and then we, we, we move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I, I think she's definitely the communicator. I always want to talk about stuff. 
<laughs> you know, like, like, that's, like. That's what he mm-hmm. say. He say, I can't take it or whatever. Open your mouth and just talk. To you. <laughs> you know, they say experience teaches wisdom. Mm-hmm. So I, I've learned, you know, we, we, we've had years together. And I told him, I'm like, listen, I know you. I know, I know how much honesty you can handle. And I know when I need to just be like, all right, Dev, just take that one and just move on. You know, and, 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 you know, I, I, I get that she's a communicator. Like even now we're planning to have a little get together for my son and she wants to talk about it. And I'm like, you know, just let me know where to be and when I need to be there. You know, you don't have to tell me everything. Oh, we got this and this is the cake. Like I, it, it doesn't matter to me. You, 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 it's your, your plan. You know, I'll let you make it happen and I'll, I'll just yeah, show up and be supportive. But I like to plan, I like to talk. And then the day yeah. of an event, Regardless of what it is, so what happened? <laughs> did, did you call, did you call um, the person? Did, did you? I'm like, if you would talk to me a couple days ago, I saw that. This is what so now you're here running around looking confused. Let's talk about it. <laughs> guilty, guilty. Does that Same sound familiar? Word. It's not just me, so it's Stan too. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with extroverts, right? They just want to yeah. be the life of the party. It's like, just they don't, don't want to plan. Yeah, them. yep. Don't tell me, let's get there, walk the room. But he walks the room, right? Like he helps walk the room and yeah. make sure, yeah? yeah. So everyone is playing their parts in that sense. Mm-hmm. I guess. Their strengths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm not Play the game to your no. strength. I mean, I don't yeah. have all the details, but, but you know, I mean, I'll, we can I'll, make it I'll, work. I'll work the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, next man. question about money, finances, uh, spender, saver, joint accounts. Tell us, how's that working? <laughs> um, so, um, finances. Who's the saver? Um, so, in in our household um mm. jovian makes more money than i am mm. right and i am not one of those guys who i'm not in competition with my wife uh-huh. right we 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 this is how we manage our household mm. um i i've acknowledged and sometimes i'm talking to i can't remember who i was talking to a, a few days ago and it somehow you know it came up and I'm like, no, my wife makes more money than me. Oh, I, it, it was my um my store manager. And I said, no, my wife makes more money than me. You know, my, my job doesn't pay, you know, as much as she as, as much as she's getting paid. And then she made a joke. She was like, oh, so you're you're taking care of man. And I started to laugh, you know, because I joke about it all the time. I'm like, listen, that's my sugar mama, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's my sugar mama, okay? I get spoiled, right? And, yeah. and and it's just a joke, you know. But I'm I'm not in competition with my wife, mm. you know. If an opportunity comes along where I can make more, then I can, because mm-hmm. it's going towards us managing our household, and mm. and I've I've acknowledged that, and I am happy for her. Mm. that she's in the position that she's in doing what she does mm. and being rewarded for it in terms of in in um in a form of a salary now the spender <laughs> <laughs> so he- here's my thing right here's my thing i know how hard she works i don't know how hard i work i believe in rewarding ourselves and and i want to have nice things for my wife mm. right and i want nice things for myself i'm i'm i love sneakers um and like I said before, my wife, she's into, into material stuff and all this other things. But if, you know, she gets something nice, she, she, she'll, 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 she'll take it. Mm-hmm. She'll take it. Right. I love the fact that we offset each other by her being the saver. Mm-hmm. She's conservative. She, she's going to worry about, okay, what's happening tomorrow, the day after that, the week after that, the week after that. So I'm definitely the spender. You know, if, if it's Christmas, I'm, she's going to be like, oh, what, so what's our budget? You know, and I'm like, man, <laughs> let's, 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 let's just do what we want. You know, she'll be like, <laughs> okay, but I know, I know deep down inside it's killing her. Like, no, bro, you better <laughs> let me know. Are, are, are we keeping this? You know, but for, for, for me, I'm, 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 there's no limit on what I wouldn't spend on my wife. This is my wife. I know what she offers for, for me and for my kids, what she does for this house. So if, if, if I can spend whatever it is, 
to show her how much I appreciate her, then I would. My wife, on the other hand, she, she you know, her, her favorite thing to shop, place to shop for um, gifts is Amazon. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Right? Um, but, you know, I, I like I said, I, I, I love it. I love the fact that she, she you know, she's thinking about tomorrow and stuff like that. And, and I do too. But mm -hmm. I like the reward. I like, you know, we, we like the reward. I like the reward of, of, you know, being able to get yourself something nice. So let's hear from the saver. How do you strike the balance? Tell us. <laughs> I mean, I have my moments when I was like, okay, that's like a good idea. We can, we can go ahead and spread. But then sometimes I'm just like, mm -mm. no, <laughs> wrong, no. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. Maybe I just always like think about like, just want to have like, you never know, rainy days, things happen. So I'm always thinking like, you know, make sure everything's good. Make sure I count are good. I don't want to stress about anything. I mean, you can't avoid certain things, but mm -hmm. I just, I don't like to just do things randomly. Yeah. If we're going to plan and go somewhere, we're on a vacation, okay, mm -hmm. that's we're going to buy something fine. But I don't want like randomly just buying a bunch of stuff and I'm just like, what? why is it so much? Why is so what's going on here? Like, I'm, just, I'm like, okay, no, we're not doing it. Yeah, and, and I and I get and I get why she is the way that she is. I mean, um, after we had our um, second son, we were both out of work, you know, enjoying um, the time with a newborn and stuff like that. And then we see how finances play a part in having a, a, a that nest egg mm. that you know that you can. Because yeah, because it, it it'll get rough. It'll get yeah. rough if if and then now you got to dig deep into your savings and. Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do is is have an empty barrel or an yeah. empty nest egg because yeah. owning a home things happen you yeah. know it's either the, the, the roof the furnace mm. the, the water heater or whatever it is you know you need you need something there and then mm. when you go on maternity leave or you know that money is not coming mm. yeah if you get something but then after a while if you want to stay out longer then it's just like yeah yeah well yeah we'll see you back in a few months if you want to get paid or you just gonna you know so <laughs> That's why I'm like, I'm always like, always good to have something yeah. together because things yeah. happen. Yeah. 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 You know, it's, and then I think, go it, ahead, Stan. It's interesting that so many couples you always have, at least most of the couples that we've been coming across, mm -hmm. Spend, spender, saver, spender, saver, spender, that, that opposites attract, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I often wonder, is it something you saw growing up that made you? The you know I mean so and you've seen both sides. Some people grew up poor and like listen, I want the good life. You only got one life. Mm -hmm. So some people grew up rich and like you know what I gotta count every penny because that's how I just often wonder for you. For, but so for you guys though, what would you say anything from your family of origin kind of sparked your attitude towards money? Just I mean. personality so, driven. I would say I, I I like I said I grew up in um South America. We grew up poor, like in a sense where. We, we've had, there's food always on the table. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, clothes on our back, but mm -hmm. it's not as though we had the best of everything, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, when, like I said before, I love sneakers because I remember growing up, I had probably one or two pair, mm -hmm. you know, and, and whatever I wore, wore to school, I would wear it if I'm going to a party or I'm going out with, you know. So now that I'm older, I'm like, I'm uh, sneaker is my thing, you know, um, and, and, and I got tons and you know, um, but <laughs> as a father, as a husband, and, and it's something that me and my, my, my younger brother, um, has been talking about is how do we break the generational thing where there isn't a long-term wealth being passed down from generation to generation? And it's not a conversation that we've had with our parents per se. Like you growing up, you heard save, 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 save. You work, you put the money in the bank. You work to put the money in the bank. Mm. And now that I'm a father and I'm looking at my kids, I'm like, right, what am I leaving to my children? Mm. You know, so that, that's where my mind is right now in terms of financing mm -hmm. is, all right, what information am I going to give to Devon Jr. or Grayson um, that or what am I going to give to them mm -hmm. and teach them so that they can know to pass it on to their children? I, I, I don't want it to be about, hey, listen, you have to have money in the bank. Because mm -hmm. for me, you put your money in the bank and it's not making any, it, it you know, 0.01% 0 .01 or whatever it is, is the investment on, is the return on that investment. Um, but how do you make your money work for you? And 
you know, I've been I've been watching videos and looking into different things and different scenarios of how the top one percent get to stay at the top one percent, um, and and that's where I am um, on on my personal journey with financing is art. I, I want to ensure that there's a generational wealth being passed on to my children and so on and so forth. I, I don't want my sons to have to work like I did while I was in school. I know how that can be a distraction, especially when you grow up not having a lot. So when 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 I came, um, I'm sorry, when I came here from Guyana, you know, I, I I got a job, and I started going to school, and and my job was like giving me this thing that I I grew up not having. So when when I got that six hundred dollars, Stanley, um, that was a lot of money, man. Mm. I was, I'm like, <laughs> I am on top of the world. <laughs> You know what I mean? So um, the working and the, the financing became, you know, a distraction from school mm. and so on and so mm. forth. I don't want my kids to have that distraction, mm. but I don't want them to feel like they're spoiled, like they have everything. Mm. They, they need to know hard or their parents work for it. Okay. So for me, it's, it's different. Obviously, mm. I grew up in America, but at the end of the day, I grew up with my mom and my stepdad who are from Jamaica who don't have it like that either. Mm. They wasn't, I was able to grow up with com- being comfortable, mm. but it wasn't like they were sitting down like, oh yeah, everything. No, they was working hard. Mm. And then that was what told me like, you know, my my dad was the main one. He was like, okay, you can have fun, but you better work. Mm. Not tell me to get a job, but he's like, oh, you know, you gotta work hard, save your money. Like he always would tell me to save money. So like, that's the one thing with him and my, my, my mom, he always talk about how he's saving some money. So I don't know, maybe it's just like yeah. always yep. hearing it that you'd be like, yeah. save your money. Yeah. <laughs> so I, love- I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth just because, oh, you live in America. No, because yeah. my mom worked, you know, a hard, she, she's still working, but she worked mm-hmm. hard. And my dad retired early, but, you know, they did their best. I was comfortable, mm-hmm. but I felt like I still had to make sure that, you know, you save and I was just grateful. Mm-hmm. But I don't mean now that I, I'm working, mm-hmm. that I'm going to be out here acting crazy because mm-hmm. things can happen. <laughs> can fall it. down the next day. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's it's interesting hearing you both because I feel like you know listeners can pick so much from each of that. Mm-hmm. But um, Devon, when you were talking about the shoes, I was laughing because I'm thinking in my mind, Stanley's like shoes again because it's the same kind of um, mentality, but it's different because I'm the saver, right? In that sense, but I like shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's you know sometimes it's like do i really need another pair of shoes uh yeah but you always do you always do <laughs> that's what i tell him i'm like a girl's gonna get her shoes yeah. however i'll tell you right when you were saying the same thing when you were saying she shops on amazon i'm like yeah whatever i'm a dsw girl like i told him i said your one pair of shoes is like my 10, right? So like, <laughs> leave it alone, leave yeah. it alone because your one pair is 10 of mine. So just leave yeah. me my DSW alone. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm an open book. So what do I know about sex now um, that I didn't know? How often it will happen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You know, um, <laughs> I think I think before you know you're you're young and the, the, your idea of marriage is either what you're seeing in the house, um, in your household. And I grew up with a single mom, mm. um, so you know my, my my thing with marriage was I wanted to work. 